Well, you know me, I'm a great spotter, right? I'm one of the best spotters in this business. What? So, <laughs> I, right? So, I was just uh, doing what I do best. Just looking around, finding the Nothing. <laughs> Found the drain, and there it was. 2.53 meter articulated python, right? My best find ever. She's only find ever. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> My best find ever. Oh, wow. Oh. There are many great finds. I was looking at the green custard lizard, right? And then suddenly he just goes up. I just say his voice, Robin! And I turn behind. And he walks and he just strolls up to me. And then he just straight out like, got python there? Eh? Yeah, yeah. Between me and him, we only shot that thing once. And then, uh, it, well, you just kind of got spooked out, I think, after a while. And then he just straight out, like, took off. And then went up a tree. Yeah, and, and I was, like, camping by the road yeah. for, like, the next two hours. Yeah, right, for so, it to come so right, I went to search the rest of the place myself. He took this steel chair, sat there with his... With his 500mm lens pointed at the snake and they just said that ah yeah it was it was 5am in the morning what else was i supposed to do i was scouting out the python right <laughs> you see this is why that's his best and only fine well this guy messaged me asked me to uh, bring him around because yeah. I've, I've seen i've seen your photos and i thought they were really great and then i think you're one of the first two people that actually followed my channel and you were quite interested in it so yeah yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, did, I, did, I did what I... You know, not, not many people in Singapore do uh, video content for herbs in general. Maybe not herbs, reptiles to be more specific. So when he, come, when he came to me, he bring me out, uh, he, like, show me around the place, especially for night time because you were doing mostly daytime. Yeah, all I did all I did was see monitors, uh, maybe a few crocodiles here and there. Uh, not really having a lot of much of luck with snakes. Uh. So we wanted to see some snakes. And uh, so, our very, very first trip, Red Tail Eraser. Uh, what can I say? It's a beautiful, beautiful snake. That was the first legitimate trip that we had. For, for me, that was the first snake I saw in the night. Yeah, the first snake and it's really a red tail racer. How yeah. many people can actually say they've seen a red tail racer? Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't actually know what a red tail racer was to begin with. So. And we got so much good like uh, videos of it as well because of how close it was. Yeah, but it was very, very patient, very nice to us. Uh, I think the, the whole experience itself was Really, very good. Lah. We did see a number of vipers on the same night. Yeah, so yes. a female, a few males. Speaking of vipers, another iconic moment this year was uh, a pair of mating vipers. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So worth it. We're going to spend like about a one and a half hours with it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, just watching it, we didn't disturb it at all. Uh, but yeah, we got pretty sick video of that. Tried, tried to get some, um, some yeah. angles of it. And, and uh, shortly after that, they were separated. Yeah, shortly they were. But I guess that comes with the territory, I guess. It was uh, unfortunate. Yeah, we got uh, presented a very good... Yeah, I, I was quite... Uh, so it was quite exciting actually getting to see a pair of mating snakes. Never seen any snake um, mate Yeah, before. We, we never seen a mating pair yeah. before. That was our first time and um, probably the best time that we... Yes. Um, the best... You remember the hat trick cobra, the tree? Yes, I remember that. Three different individuals. But yeah, we got to see it hunt. We got to see it move around the mangroves. It was high tide. Most people say, Go and look for king cobras during low tide. You know, it's the best. It's high tide that day, so we got to see it swimming, going through the mud flats as well. Yeah, the swimming, the swimming was cool. Um, getting the close ups, getting to see it hunt, much less eat. Wow, that was. I actually got a lot of footage that day that I'll be able to put inside a future dragon tail. How many king cobras have you seen before that? I don't know. I guess one. I think it was. I one think I think the same for me as well. So that day, literally three times, or three times my uh, previous. Uh, number I've seen. Of course we then go on to have a bit of a snake drought. Wouldn't see some snake for some Oof. for some time. But Copstein, right? Yeah. Copstein literally yes, dropped yes. right yes. in front of us. So what happened right uh, was we were shooting a Kalugo, we were done shooting this Kalugo because we went to Windsor the whole morning, saw nothing, went to Lower Pierce, uh, saw this one Kalugo. So I was talking to Randall, we were done shooting. So I was staring at him like this way and then he saw from the corner of his eye Copstein's bronze bag just fall onto the ground and then it just landed flat on the, on the, onto the ball and then he just like pointed behind and I just straight up looked behind like oh my god snake yeah oh, that was quite a quite a good good day as well yeah yeah it was, it was. I, but that's the way hopping goes you have all these sightings and then you know you, you're gonna have days where you just don't find anything yeah unfortunately yeah. you do right you gotta take the good days with the bad so good. speaking of good days uh, there's a lot of good days to come uh, the upcoming year 2022 we have planned yeah, plan so for this year. In January, we are going to be releasing um, a Snakes of Singapore Dragon Tales episode hosted by yours truly, of course. Right, so you, 
this is the first time for you getting to post uh, what, what, what's the experience like? Uh, it's just it's so many people watching me maybe it's a bad location choice, bad timing but a lot of people are just watching me and try to be as comfortable as I can on camera something I'm not very used to uh, getting to uh, record uh, my voice and all that it's just not very pleasant to listen to but it was <laughs> ended up being okay <laughs> ended, up being, ended up being okay so next year you got snakes, uh, snakes of Singapore, Dragon Tales um, I'm doing a bit of a short revamp to the channel but a lot more interesting things are coming I'm going to focus more on international reptiles and yeah we're just exploring these kind of things these kind of ideas if you guys have any I always let either of us know and we'll, we'll try to make it happen yeah right yeah. because hey I, I don't really know what I'm doing anyways I'm just putting out stuff um, hoping it works right all I know is uh, I, I love reptiles I love hanging out with them I love creating content about them so hopefully more to come next year and for many years to come so yeah that's, that's it for this video. Yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh, you can feel free to follow him, uh, Robin Tan, on Instagram. Or if you want more lizards and other reptiles, you can always follow Dragon Voices. Uh, yeah, I, I, I shoot the photos. Yeah, I, I mean, I help you with the video as well. Yeah, I'm not, not saying that I never take any videos, but you know, I, I take the photos. He takes most of the video. And, yeah, yeah, we, uh, we did. You're good, right? So he takes great photos, and I love his photos, so he helps me with that a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love his photos too. Oh, support! So am I getting paid for this? <laughs> 